The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has given Alabama its highest designation for flu cases in the country. To, to help combat the spread, Alabama doctors are promoting Flu Shot Friday. Dr. Aruna Aurora with the Alabama Medical Association is joining us this morning to talk about why medical professionals are hoping Alabamians will take part in this. So the first question we have for you is, since the flu season is different from years past, explain what's going on and why this year's season is so unique. Mm -hmm. Uh, good morning. Yeah, so this particular year, I think we are seeing such high, high numbers of influenza because we have essentially been protected um, with the COVID pandemic. People have been wearing masks. They have been socially distancing. They've been washing their hands. And so really, we have not had cases, you know, over these past couple of years. And so as wonderful as it is to see life kind of move forward, kids are back in school, everybody's doing what they need to be doing, but the flu is back. And so the flu is back. There are kids who have not seen viruses in um, a few years now, young children who should be building their immunity. And so the vaccines are truly you know, kind of what we're pushing now um, as the numbers for flu have been just record high. I don't think we've seen numbers like this since H1N1 back in 2010. So, yeah. And how sick are people getting with this uh, strain of the flu this year? And how is that impacting uh, hospitals? So this, um, you know, every year the flu can present and cause very severe cases in people who are immunocompromised or older or really young, under two. And, um, you know, my own son had the flu um, and he had a pretty high fever. He, you know, did get the flu vaccine about a month before he got the flu um, during an outbreak at school, but you know, he didn't have to go to the ER. Um, so, you know, the flu vaccine is really here to keep us from severe disease and death. And sadly, we have had one pediatric death in our state, which is always very tragic. Today is Flu Shot Friday, and a lot of people think, you know, they should get it at the end of October, but it's not too late. So, really pitch this to those who haven't gotten their flu shot yet. Oh my gosh, absolutely. So we, um, you know, so this particular year we have seen the flu early. Uh, we did get that kind of warning from Australia on the other hemisphere, um, but it is never too late because um, as you know, the flu season lasts all the way up to March. I think I myself, you know, my birthday's in February and I feel like I get the gift of flu every March or February. So I think getting the flu shot um, now is not too late. I mean, you even could have a little bit of immunity building up before Thanksgiving, you know, if you're getting families together um, and that kind of thing. And, and really, there's no better time than just, you know, when you're thinking about it. So, yeah, it's not too late. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning to talk about Flu Shot Friday. And for more information about Flu Shot Friday, you can visit WHNT.com, click the On Air tab, head to noon interviews, and go to the story.